Hi guys, welcome back to the fundamentals of NumPy restriction. In this video, we'll be talking about flattening NumPy arrays. In the homeworks for this course, you'll most likely be working with NumPy arrays that have multiple dimensions, but in some cases, like uh, at the output of a neural network, you'll need to convert your multi-dimensional arrays into an array with a single dimension. This is where the flattening operation comes into play. There are different ways to flatten a NumPy array. Let's look at the first one. Uh, now let's uh, create a 2D NumPy array of shape 5,6. If we print out this array K, uh, we can see that it has five rows and six columns. Now let's perform the flattening operation. Now the key thing to, uh, to note here is that the flatten function does not flatten in place. So we need to store the flattened array into a new variable called K1. Now, as you can see, this uh, a new array K1 uh, is basically a one dimensional array with 30 elements. Uh, if we print out the shape of K1, we can see that it's 30 comma nothing. Uh, now let's look at the order in which it has been flattened. On printing K1, we can see that the first six elements of K1 are basically the first, uh, are basically the elements in the first row of K. And the next six elements of K1 uh, are basically the next six, uh, uh, the elements belonging to the second row of K and so on. Uh, we can also specify the order in which we want the array to be flattened. Uh, for flattening along the columns instead of rows, we can pass capital F as an argument to the flatten function. Uh, let me just run this cell. Now, as you can see in this new array K2, uh, the first uh, element uh, is the, the is the first uh, element in the first row of K. The second element in K2 uh, is the first element in the second row of K. The third element in K2 uh, is the first element in the third row of K. So this is column major order. Uh, another function for flattening NumPy arrays is called the Ravel function. Uh, it essentially performs the same operation as flatten function. Let me just run this cell. Uh, but there's a, a key difference between these two functions. Uh, so let me just uh, create a new NumPy array of size 4 comma 5, of shape 4 comma 5. And Let's perform the flatten and ravel operations. Uh, you can see that the flat, uh, that both these operations produce the same result. Uh, but the main difference is that if we try to modify uh, an element in the uh, flatten uh, in the array produced by the flatten function, uh, then it does not change the uh, original array. It has no effect on the original array. This is because the flatten function creates a new uh, array with the same elements as the original array and then flattens it. Whereas uh, if we try to modify the array created by the Ravel function, uh, then it can also affect, uh, then it will also affect the values of the original array. This is because uh, the Ravel function returns a reference or a view of the original array instead of uh, creating a new array. So uh, while using flatten and ravel functions, you should keep this in mind and be careful. Flattening arrays can also be performed using the reshape function. As you saw in the re reshaping NumPy arrays recitation, if we pass one dimension as minus one, it will flatten out the uh, array K and we will get a one dimensional array with 30 elements. So that's it regarding flattening NumPy arrays. See you in the next, re uh, next recitation.